it's great news that oracle linux 9 is available for m1 mac yes you heard it right if you watched my previous video you can see that although using parallels you cannot install an arm based any linux flavor apart from the ones which are already available so you are restricted to only these flavors of linux using parallels i was really surprised to see this blog where oracle says that you can install oracle linux 9 on apple silicon based mac i am excited how it's gonna work they have provided two steps on how to achieve this the one is using utm and the second is using qemu directly for the sake of this video i'm gonna follow the first step and underneath mention three steps on what needs to be done before that you need to download this oracle linux 9 from this site which i have already downloaded here utm is basically a virtualization software where you need it in order to install operating system with the iso image what i'm going to try here is i'm going to use parallels and check if i can install this ol9 on this mac by the way utm virtual machines is a paid software it is around 899 for some reason the ratings is not good i am not going to install this now since i already have parallels all right i'm gonna click on this create a virtual machine continue let me select an iso image select a file okay it's unable to detect that's fine okay other linux Okay, I'm gonna name uh, name it here Oracle Linux. I'm gonna leave it as default. Click on create. Great. So I'm gonna select install. Let's see how it goes. Fantastic. I think it's working because. The last time when I tried in uh, parallels for CentOS, ARM, it didn't work. This appears to be installing and it's good to see that. Oh, great. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna be your password. Okay, it has selected 64 gig by default. I can however add a disk later, so that's fine. You create a new user. Okay, so I'm gonna select begin installation. Right, I'm going to pause this video because installation is going to take a lot of time and I'm going to resume it once the installation is completed. Installation is now completed. It's uh, asking me to reboot the system. So I'm going to hit the reboot system button. I have to admit the installation was really quick. Right, so it's time for me to log in. Perfect. I'm so happy to see Oracle Linux running on MacBook. You know, we had this restriction when Apple initially launched the Apple Silicon based Mac where so many software were not compatible. Now that Oracle Linux is available for Mac, it's basically a game changer for those who are looking for Oracle Linux. Such a incredible news.
for everyone and you can see the mac i have here is m1 based macbook pro 13 inch with 16 gb of ram now coming to virtualization software you can either use utm you know i recommend parallels because i had a good experience with parallel especially when coming to windows parallels is really good i am not sure about utm this software seems at a reasonable price around 899 or parallels is expensive but it's worth the money you know i'm sure all the linux folks who has an m1 mac will be very happy having to see oracle linux available because oracle linux and red hat linux flavors are similar i hope this video was informative if you have any questions please mention in the comment section below as always please hit the subscribe button and like my video thanks for watching cheers